All right, Ethan, back for another beer video. Tonight, I'm going to be reviewing Hams, founded 1865 in St. Paul, Minnesota, and the Theodore Hams Brewing Company. Let's go ahead and crack it open, get right into it, a little bit of smoke. Best Buy is November 23rd, 2020. Today is October 5th, so we got about a month and a half almost two months of freshness. Now I've had hams many times before. I really like it. To me, it, it tastes like a, a better Miller High Life. That might sound odd, but that's just, that's how I, that's how I see it. To me, I've, I've drank them side by side before to see if I could different, differentiate between the two. And I always like the hams a little bit better. And price-wise, they're about the same. I got a 24-pack of the hams for $15.99 at Kroger. So, do the math, 12-pack will be about 8 bucks. So, that's about what Miller High Life is. So, comparable prices, but to me, the hams is just a smidge, just a touch better. Let's go ahead and give it a pour in the Peps glass. Wow, very large, foamy head. Rich golden color. Wow, that's like a five finger head. Well, four. Very, very beer forward aroma. That corn, that water, a little bit of barley malt. Just a little bit. I don't know what the IBUs are, but if I had to guess, I'd say they were just a little more than Miller High Life. Maybe about what Pat's Blue Ribbon is, but to me it has a little, little more hop character than Miller High Life and Budweiser. All right, Ham's Brewing Company, oh, the Fedor Ham's Brewing Company was established by a German immigrant, Theodore Hamm, in 1865, right after the Civil War, or the War Between the States, as some people call it. Um, and then in 1965, it was acquired by Hublin. In 1973, Hamm's was sold to Olympia Brewing Company. And then in the 80s, 83, Paps purchased Olympia. Uh along with Hams, and then the St. Paul Flagship Brewery was traded to the Strobe Brewing Company. And then Miller acquired it from Pabst in 99. And then ever since, so 2016, uh, it was purchased along with all its assets, to form Miller Coors. Uh, no space between Miller and Coors. Uh, so now it is owned by Miller Coors. I wonder if it says that on the can. Looks like this is brewed in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Union made. Hams is 4.6% alcohol by volume, same as Miller High Life, same as Old Milwaukee, because Milwaukee's best is 4.8, I believe. Yeah, so, and it, it's kind of like Old Milwaukee, but I really like Hams. Um, it's not the easiest beer to get in Georgia, but you can find it. You can usually find it at Kroger or Walmart or some select uh, bottle or liquor shops. You won't find it at every liquor store, and you more than likely will not find it at gas stations in this area. No, you won't. You really, Kroger and Walmart are probably your best bet for like a six pack of 16 ounce cans or a 24 pack of 12 ounce, which is what, what I got. 
All right, let's go ahead and give it a taste. Enough ranting and raving. Wow. Just a smooth, smooth, bready corn, cornbread, biscuit flavor. It's like a saltine cracker with a touch of hop. Less of an adjunct cheapness taste than Miller High Life, though I do love Miller High Life. But whenever I see hams, I am keen to jump on it. Uh, it's it's cheap because it's not as popular as it once was. They have to bring the price down to so that it will sell, you know. It's not like Budweiser where you can jack the price up because people want Budweiser for the name. It has a reputation. This has fallen off in the most recent decades. It's not as popular as it once was, so it has the price drops so people so they can get it off the shelf basically. And I have seen many cases of hams out of date by one, two, three months. I once drank a pack of it, six pack of it that was a month out of date, and it was fine. I mean, but you will often see hams out of date because people don't buy it. They really don't. Not in this area, at least. Maybe they do in, you know, west of the Mississippi, out west. But in Georgia, mm, I don't think I've ever seen anyone leaving a grocery store with a pack of hams. I've bought it many times. I really like it. And to me, it's a, it's kind of mind-blowing why it's not more popular than it is. Because it's so cheap and it tastes so good. It was really hot today, and this is a great hot weather beer. Well, it wasn't hot. It was warm. It was warm for October. So this is a great beer for that kind of weather. It's crystal clear. It's smooth. It has flavor, though. It definitely has flavor. It has character. It has a unique character. I've always liked it. Always, always. I could be biased because of the price. You can get a six-pack of pint cans for... Three ninety nine. I've seen, no joke, three dollars and ninety nine cents for a six pack of sixteen ounce cans, but generally it's like four ninety nine. Um, what other forms have I seen it in? Uh, I've seen it in twelve pack, twelve ounce cans, for like seven ninety nine, eight ninety nine. Sort of a similar price to Miller High Life. I might have even seen it for six ninety nine once. For a 12 pack of 12 ounce cans that's a great price but again very cheap great beer great summer lawnmower beer sessionable at 4.6 i mean it has such a it has such a what you when you think of beer this is what you think of like it tastes like corn it tastes like a little bit of barley malt Tastes like water, but it's not watery. It has a light to medium mouth feel. Uh, corn syrup is in the ingredients. The ingredients are water, barley malt, corn syrup, maltose, yeast, and hops. And you do kind of get a yeasty flavor with it. Maybe not as much as Budweiser, but along those same lines for a score i'd have to give this i'm going with my gut 95 hams deserves a 95. it needs to be more popular matter of fact i don't know why it's not as popular as pabst i mean i know pabst is a bigger brewery and you know today but it's just as good as Pabst, and Pabst, you know, flies off the shelf. People love Pabst. Um, so, to me, it should be just as popular as Pabst or Miller High Life. It's just as good, if not better. I really like it. 95 for the hams. Beer. If you see it, try it, get it. If not, that's unfortunate because it's really good. Uh, thank you for watching, and cheers.